sure everyone watching this video has heard the bad news. Hidden side is dead. <laughs> I am a little upset. But in all seriousness, Hidden Side was probably my favorite theme, and the only theme I can think that would rival it is Harry Potter. Every set that Hidden Side released was really good, and sure, each wave got slowly more disappointing, but even Wave 3 had at least a few good sets that stood out. I could probably talk for a really, really long time about Hidden Side, what I liked, what I didn't like, and why it may be leaving shelves next January. But this video is about why I believe that Hidden Side might be getting a fourth and final wave that will release either later this year or early next year. Before we start, uh, please leave a like on this video, and if you're new, cons please consider subscribing. And yeah, let's get into it. There are a lot of reasons why I think that we'll get a fourth and final wave. In my mind, this would likely come out either in fall, like October, but only be a few smaller sets, or that it would be another full-scale wave releasing in January of 2021. Please keep in mind throughout this video, this is all theories and speculation. This isn't official, this isn't even a rumor, this is all just speculation. Let's not blow this out of proportion. Let's start with the show, or whatever you call it. I guess they're more like animated shorts, really. I... Uh, yeah, they're all really short. Now, I have watched the entire show, and I thought it was decent? I liked the idea, although the characters, especially Jack, were kind of annoying, specifically at the beginning. But I do think that the later episodes in particular are good, but mainly suffer from only being five minutes long. But the point is that Wave 1 was not only season one. Season one of this show is made up of the first two waves. And you might be thinking, but wait, that's not very solid evidence. That's really it for your threads. Shh, shh, shh. No, I'm not done yet. With Lady E defeated in the last episode of season one, there has to be a new main villain. I think it's not hard to assume that the Slenderman dude from the castle and the fire truck sets is likely to be it. But I don't think there's quite enough material in these few sets to make up even another half a season. Especially when one of the sets is based on a vehicle from the first season. I feel like they're going to need more sets to draw out the episodes. Also, take note, it's not entirely unheard of for LEGO to announce that a theme is dead and for it to still get more sets before actually leaving shelves. I mean, one time they even fooled people into believing that Ninjago was coming to end just to build up hype for the next wave. And, side tangent, speaking of Ninjago, why is that theme still around? Like, I know it's popular, I never liked it myself, but it's been going on for nearly 10 years now. And for an original LEGO theme, that's really good. But I don't feel like it's very original anymore. Everything to me just feels overdone and old at this point. I feel like Ninjago should probably come to an end soon. Maybe to make room for another original LEGO theme that would feel more fresh than yet another wave of Ninjago sets. I'll have to make a more in-depth video onto why I don't like Ninjago as much and why maybe I think it should be over in the coming next coming years, but there's not time for all that here. The other point is that LEGO sets take a long time to design. According to an interview with Beyond the Brick, the bus set from last year, the build was completed in late 2017, a full year before it re release. And if, and I mean if, that really is the case, then it's likely these sets would have begun production before the original wave even got officially revealed. I don't personally feel like LEGO would want to just stop production and design on it. It sounds like a waste of time. I know, I know, this whole video just, it sounds like a lot of wishful thinking. And it probably is, but I'm going to miss this theme. I really want to see more of these sets, and I had hopes that they would pick back up and do more sets like the original two waves, and that we would continue to get amazing original builds. A lot of people loved Hidden Side, and I think there are good reasons as to why it's dying. And I know most of you watching this are probably mourning with me. I... I wish we didn't have to. 
We cannot let this theme go to waste. We can't let it die in vain. If these three waves meant anything to you, then we can make it count. <laughs> oh. Oops. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Hold on. <clears throat> but seriously, if we can try to keep this theme from going, then let's do it. If it means buying all the sets, then buy all the sets. If it means supporting the creators and encouraging LEGO to bring it back, then do that. If it means 501st battle packing this thing, then maybe do it. I don't know. Go for it, I guess. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my rambling a bit. I'm really going to miss this theme, and I can't save it alone, but it was a great theme, and I think there are reasons it's going. I think there are reasons it should come back. I think there are ways LEGO could fix it if they release more waves and make it even better than it has been. Anyway, that's all I have to say, so we'll be back in a jiffy.